Mm. Oh. Duh. Uh. Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Mode. Last time, we were getting ready to have a, a real in-depth conversation with Vito Brevis, now that we have one of his domes. However, I accidentally clicked on the side of the screen and left the conversation before it could actually get started. We had to start over, but fortunately, throughout the stream, I had been saving the game every so often because the chat had been yelling at me to do that. However, the last time I had saved was before we had the conversation with Mia. Now, the conversation with Mia actually did go on for kind of a little while. There were many choices that we made, and... Well, I did not remember all the choices we had made. However, I don't think the conversation we had with Mia would actually lead to anything else. Since we did not actually go to the sauna with her, I think it was okay that we could just skip the conversation with her. Because I just wanted to go straight to Vito. I don't think it changed anything. But in any case, in this version of the mode event, we did not talk to Mia. Stop me if you've heard this one. A total stranger goes into a private party after midnight looking for some kicks. And he meets the host, a dashing world-famous artist. And the host says to him, what are you doing here? And the stranger says... Alright, we remember this question from last time. We also remember that the chat had decided that they wanted to answer green. They wanted to start off a friendly conversation with Vito. Wanted to get off on the right foot. Because we don't really know what we can say to Vito, what he might want to hear. So let's just play it safe and go green. <laughs> uh. Alright, whatever it was we just said apparently did not impress the man. It's hard to say what we could say that would impress him, though. I mean, he is a world-famous artist. He's obviously been to a lot of places and spoken to a lot of people. Obviously, he's heard it all. So what could we say to him that would want him to get talking with us? The chat decided that since he just laughed us off, we're going to give him some blue. We're not going to give anything up. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to convince me that you're worth knowing, and this will count towards your final mark. But here's some advice. The more you tell me, the more likely I am to find you fascinating. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. That's also one of my favorite lines in the game, that he might find us fascinating. So, but what can we tell him to get him to find us fascinating? Again, it's hard to say what's going to impress Vito Brevis. The chat thought that since Green did not work so well, uh, maybe we should go the opposite direction. Maybe we should uh, show some personality, give him some attitude. Maybe that will impress the artist. So, we went with Red. You have a serious problem with anger, don't you? I like that in a person. <laughs> that did not impress Vito, I don't think. Uh, it's hard to, again, it's hard to say what will impress him, because it seems like everything we say, he just responds with, with sarcasm. So the chat thought that since Vito was not impressed with our anger, sh trying to show him who's boss, that we're going to go back to green, and again, play it safe, play it friendly, and try to figure out what we can do to get the man to open up to us. So you've decided that I'm to be your entertainment, have you? Well, I'd love to oblige you, but I uh, need to know more. All right, that was still a bit sarcastic. There still was a bit of a tone that maybe Vito thinks that we're not worth his time. Uh, but he did say that he'd uh, maybe like to know more. So that seems like a step in the positive direction. That seems like how we want to go. So because of that, the chat thought that we should continue on in this direction. Keep going with green, since this seems to be the best reaction we've gotten so far. You arrived late, didn't you? So, what have you done so far? All right, this still seems pretty good. He's asking us what we've done at his party. It is his event after all, and he wants to know what the guests are doing. 
Uh, he's asking us a lot of questions about us, but we probably want to answer these questions to his satisfaction if we want to get anything out of him. Because don't forget, we are investigating Vito to try to find out whatever illegal activities he might be up to. And that's actually a point. He's asking us what we're doing at his party. Well, what we've been doing at his party have been talking to a cop and finding out that we need to dig up the dirt on Vito so he can be arrested. And it's probably not a good idea to tell him too much about that. So the chat thought maybe we should uh, just give it some blue. Good idea. You are wise to consort with Riel. He is a wise man. But one would be wise to avoid Riel because he is a wise guy. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Vito apparently admitting that Rial is a criminal. Would Vito do that if he was a criminal himself? Hard to say. But he can. we can probably assume that he does not suspect that we might be with the cops. The chat was appreciative of getting this little bit of advice from Mr. Brevis. So they went with Green in response. Still here? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Do you have any idea what's going on here? Hmm. A yes or no question. Do we have any idea what's going on here? Well, no. Not really. There's kind of a lot of strange stuff going on at the mode event. And we know what some of the people here are doing here. But as far as the, uh, the core players, like Vito and Rial, we really have no idea what it is they're doing here or why they're even ho holding this party. So, we went with Red on this. No, Vito. We don't know what's going on here. Why don't you tell us? Then I'll only be too happy to instruct you. This is the temple of Odmi, the dark god of techno-fetishism. And I am his high priest, Miod, slayer of minds, render of logic. Rest assured, pitiful mortal, your fate is sealed. <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay, maybe not the not the answer we expected. Well, we have heard that Vito might be involved in some kind of cult or cults. You wouldn't really expect him to just say it outright like that, though. Uh, and we had not heard previously about any kind of god of techno-fetishism. So that's new. We learned something. The chat was not quite sure what to make of it. Uh, so I guess the response they had was to, uh, to maybe smile and, and go along with the man who, who just told us that we are in the presence of the priest of the dark god of techno-fetishism. So we went with green. That's great, Vito. Tell us more. It's all just a flicker in the retina for you, isn't it? A tickle in the brain stem. You know, if I could only have you see yourself as you see me, blind you with visions. Maybe later. <laughs> Vito is frustrated with us. Apparently, we are not on his level on the level of someone that he can have a, a conversation with as equals. He doesn't, I guess he doesn't think so. Even though we have a dome. The chat did not like being talked down to by Vito, so they decided that they were going to give him some red, tell Vito that maybe he can't talk to us like that. I'm bored. Go away now. Vito doesn't seem to really want to keep continuing this conversation, though the conversation hasn't ended. He didn't have anything witty or sarcastic to say, he just wants us to go. The chat didn't really want to go. They wanted to get Vito to admit that maybe we're, we're a bit more than, uh, than whatever it was that he just said we were, which is kind of, I'm not really sure what it was he said. So we went with Red. Really, I have to work. Please be gone. Eh, he does seem pretty serious this time, and he is staring a hole right through us. The chat decided that we were getting dangerously close to getting tubid again, and they really did not want that to happen. So this time, we were going to leave the conversation on purpose. Right. 
And Vito's gone. Gone off to do whatever it was he had to do in service of his, his dark god, I guess. If any of that was serious. It's hard to say if anything Vito Breva says is serious or not. All right, yep. There's the crying couple. Oh, yeah, the stage. Oh. There's Ed. The last time we talked to Ed, we did not have a dome. But we have one now, and the main part of Ed's conversation was he was telling us that we need to get one or else we might get thrown out. So the chat wanted to talk to Ed again and see how, if anything different, happens now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I'm working on this machine. Just look around, there are lots of free terminals. Once again, the chat did not like getting brushed off by Ed. We came here to talk. We've got a dome. So he is going to pay attention to us. Hmm? What's that? I'm sorry. I, I wasn't just, I wasn't paying attention at all. I'm kind of Mr. Fix-It around here, and I've just got to configure this machine for... Anyways, you'll have to excuse me. Yeah, this is how the conversation went before. This is exactly how it went. And just like before, the chat was uh, very red on this response. Gee, I'm sorry, I'm just not hearing you. This system isn't exactly trivial, and Vito wants me to run things from here for his final performance. I could run it a lot easier over the network from my main terminal, but... Well, that's how all the games are run. Well, you know, the game... Uh, no, we actually don't know about the game. He, uh, motioned towards the mode machine, and we've used that, but no one's really, uh, said anything about how this works. So we're gonna answer no. No, Ed, we don't know about the game. Why don't you tell us about that? So you haven't tried it yet? You wanna try it? And the chat said sure. If, uh, if Ed has something to tell us about the game, then, uh, let's have a go. Oh, you should. It's quite amusing, but I got to get back to work. Hmm. Chat did not like that at all. We were hoping that maybe Ed would have some insight on how the game works. Since up to this point, uh, the time that we've played the game uh, did not result in anything. We, at this point, don't know how the mode machine works or if there's anything we're supposed to get from it. So the chat did not like this answer. They wanted some information. It's more than a job. I breathe this stuff. It's not just brains, it's heart. My soul is in the software. You obviously can have no idea what it is to be what you do. How dare you stand there and judge me that way? I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I guess you must have hit a nerve. Man, I'm overtired. Don't let me bother you. Whoa, that was a very different response from anything we've got before. Previously, Ed was very cool and collected, but apparently something we said angered him. I guess it was something about his, uh, his job or what he's doing there with the moan machine. Maybe we're some kind of Luddite and we're not impressed with Ed's knowledge of technology or his ability to slide his neck off his off of his arms and shoulders however he's doing that right there i guess he needs to crane his neck to get a better view of the ds i guess that's what he's doing the chat however uh was apologetic to ed they didn't want to make him mad they didn't know he was going to have uh, that kind of reaction we were just expressing displeasure that he wasn't telling us anything about the game. So the chat decided that we were going go with Green and tell Ed that uh, that we're sorry for whatever it was that we just said to him, because I don't know what it was. Well, thank you very much. Why don't you just take that and wrap it in pink fiberglass and shove it as far as you can reach? I still have no idea what we just said to him. We answered with green. You know, that was 
apparently, I would assume it's something positive. But, uh, maybe he thought we were just being insincere, offering a false apology. Whatever it was, we did hit some kind of nerve. Don't know what it was, but it was something. Something bothering Ed. In any case, our conversation with Ed went nowhere once again, which is a shame because we're told he's the one who designed the domes. He knows how they work for whatever it is they do. Uh, and it might be useful to know just what exactly it is they are. And he's the only one with that knowledge. It didn't work out this time. However, he did leave the terminal, so we can go back into the mode machine, give it another go, and see if we can figure out this time what secrets it might have. Yep. We remember this. So the chat wanted uh, wanted me to spell a few of the anagrams of mode in this bar. They first wanted me to spell odd me. Let's see if we can do that. But I accidentally spelled omdi instead. That's almost the same thing. Yep. And then nothing seems to happen. So we continue on. Try to spell odd me correctly this time. Yep. Odd me. That's one of the words we heard, one of the names. But nothing has seemed to happen. Right, back on Mia's screen. Ode to a mode. Clever. Oh me, oh my, oh my, oh me. Oh look what you have done to me. Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. The chat wanted me to spell next the name Meadow, since that is one of the things that we heard. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Let's, yeah, let's just reset that. Okay, that just reset once again. Oh, you can click letters multiple times. I don't think I knew that. Let's go to a different screen. No, not this one, because this is actually harder to spell anything. I eulogize with euphemisms, euphonious, and euphoric. We all have many gems of wisdom to share with us here. You love me. You hate me. Here I am, the way you made me. We will live out our lives in towering domes that seal out the cyanide sky. You see, that just sounds like a very depressing vision of the future. I don't know why we all would think that's what's coming. Electronic entertainment empowers eccentric entrepreneurs. Yeah, it does. Extraterrestrial explanations of extraordinary earthly events are elegant expressions of elemental eschatology. Still no clue as to what secrets this machine might hold. Alright, here's Vito's screen. My favorite one because, well, it's Vito, and also it's the easiest to actually spell anything on, because nothing's, nothing's moving, so let's spell Meadow. Allow me to dim. They wouldn't let me do it. They wanted me to do it for them before they let me do it for you. And that didn't do it for me. So I'm not doing it for you. They wouldn't let me do it. Me. Hmm. Aside from, from Vito's pearl right there, I noticed that the E did not actually appear after the M down there. And neither does the D. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Edom to till the ground 
from which he was taken. Yeah, Edom. It's not the first time. Uh, not the first time we've heard that one. The digital data rate determines the definition of the display of this dreadfully droned version. Mm, I think we might have seen that one already. Ah, there we go. This mode ain't big enough for the both of us. All right, there's a D. Uh, we did spell some D words, such as demo. Blind, deaf, and domed. Being blind and deaf, a part of being domed? Do them. Go ahead. I'll wait. Do them. What are you even talking about, Vito? I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and animalculus. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern nature general. Well, demo doesn't seem to do anything. There was one other D word that we spelled, that being the obvious one, dome. They called me odd. Me. Call Vio odd. In the deep distance, the demons did dance and dallied with dryads who dreamed of romance. They drank drafts of dewdrop with each indrawn breath and took Dionysian delight in their death. Some of these are longer than others. Are you a model? And what model are you? Are you the latest model? Or are you discontinued? Hmm? Vito, perhaps, with not an, exactly a high opinion of models? That's kind of odd. He is a fashion mogul. Whatever that was. So, Dome doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Alright, let's try to go back to Meadow, which I was trying to spell before. What's the big idea of messing with my Mia? No, no, this time around, we did not mess with Mia. Vito can prove nothing. That never happened. It happened in another reality. This is my doom. To be damned, to be dulled, to be dim, dumb, and demonic. <laughs> Hard to say if anything we hear in the machine is relevant to anything else we might talk to Vito Brevis about. Welcome to the dream time, the dome time, the dharma, the divine. Deus ex mm -hmm. Meadow. Once again, we don't see any effect by using this word. Aside from some typos that I had made, there was one more word we tried, and that being Edom, which we've heard a few times. The devil and the deity drove to Damascus, digging all the dew up on the radio. Dial. Allow me to demonstrate. By the way, I don't think it actually matters which words I click uh, as far as which video clips play, if you were wondering. Allow me to demonstrate. Yep, he totally did put the emphasis on that word on a different syllable. Okay, so one more letter for Edom. Allow me to demo. And I believe that's where we started. Edom. Still, nothing seems to be happening. So we put in a few different words that we've heard at the mode event, and for whatever reason, still, nothing is happening. So, what is the purpose of the game? What do we need to do? And how close was the chat to uncovering something? They were pretty close. But that's just between you and me. Alright, after we leave, 
the machine. We can look around. If there's anyone else to talk to. Now, Rial, we already spoke to him and got a dome. No need to speak with him. And then there's Mia. The immersion. Yeah, we don't need to speak with her. And with that, we've exhausted all the possibilities we can on disc one. So it's time to go on to disc two and see what we might be able to do now that we have a dome, now that we have a mission to try to uncover information about Vito, Rial, and Mia. How might Disc 2 be different this time? Well, we'll have to find out next time. See you then.